Hello friends, my name is Ankush. In today's session, I am going to speak about how to migrate the non-container database to the pluggable database. I will try to cover this topic in a two video session because the video length is going quite uh, longer. So the, this is the first session where I will take, I will speak about in a theoretical way how what are all the steps that we need to take care while performing the migration from non-container database to the pluggable database and in second part I will show you the same thing in a practical way. Okay. So what is happening here? Let me show you something. Basically we are trying to migrate the data from non-container database to the pluggable database. So these are the couple of steps handy with me just to demonstrate you guys and uh, I will try to cover this in a practical way in the next session so what I'm going to do here I have one non-container database with the name ncdb and I will migrate the data from ncdb database or whole database I mean to say about the whole database what I will do, I will just migrate this ncdb database to the pluggable database with the same name as ncdb. n stand for non-container database. Just for your understanding, I have given the my non-container database as ncdb and we have a container database with the name cdb. So after the migration what you will find whatever the data objects which are available inside the non-container database ncdb that will get migrate to the pluggable database ncdb only because we are not changing the database name we are just moving the objects from non-container to pluggable database and this pluggable database will be the part of existing container database okay so these are the steps that we need to perform while doing the migration from non-container to container database the first step is we need to shut down the non-container database what i will do we will first connect to the non-container database okay then we will shut down the database non-container database then the question is coming like why we are shutting down the database because we need to start this database in a restricted mode so this is the command alter database open read only mode once we are good to open the database non-container database in a read only mode then we need to create a manifest file here i am creating the manifest file by using the package which is provided by the oracle itself with the name dbms underscore pdp described and this is the path where this manifest file will be saved okay once this is done we will again shut down the non-container database after that we need to start our existing container database because this is the container where we are going to plug our pluggable database after the migration we need to plug this database to the container so i have this cdb available with me already okay so next thing is we need to check the compatibility as well then how we are going to check whether the migration can be a successful in future because we are we are also not sure whether the compatibility is matching or not we have created we had created here you can see on the top we had created a manifest file here with some location in this case i can see here we had created the manifest file in temp directory 
okay we will use the same manifest file to check the compatibility with the container database if we are getting any error it means to say there is some compatibility issue we cannot migrate data from non container to the pluggable database but if there is no issue with the compatibility then definitely we can go ahead and migrate the database from non container to pluggable so this is the package that we need to use for the compatibility next step is we are also going to check whether there is any violation what is happening here once it is complete success query plug pdb plugin violation view from the cdb database from any error it should be cdb let's check it there should not be any violation if there is any violation then again we need to take care and after that once it is done we will create the pluggable database with the name we'll use the same name nctb by using the manifest file which we had created on the top by using the copy parameter file name convert now this is important thing let me show you and let me describe in a deep way so that you can understand why i am using this file name convert because when basically we are migrating the data from non container to the pluggable database so definitely on non container database you will find some data files right maybe it is stored in some slash oracle slash uh, uh, pdb slash data files there okay now when we are migrating the non container to the pluggable database it means to say the pluggable database will so will have some data files right so in that case we need to take care that whether you want to copy that data files which are coming from the non container to the pluggable database or you just want to move it so for this purpose we have this file name convert parameter here so there are diff different different options we can just copy copy means to say the files will be available on older location as well as on the new location older location means to say on a non container database data files location and new location means to say on pluggable data file location then we are move it is like cut and paste no copy you don't want to copy and this is a step a where we need to use this non cdb to pdb sql query on the container database see this is the container database we have already exist and we are just plugging this new pluggable database to this container database okay so once we are connected to the cdb then we need to connect to the pluggable database and cdb and then we need to run this query which will also change the data dictionary for the pluggable database and this is the last step step 9 where we need to open the pluggable database and we will cross check whether the data is migrated from the non container to the pluggable database our whole database you can see inside the pdb okay in so this is what we have seen in the theoretical way what i will do in next video i will try to cover the same thing in a practical way okay thank you so much for watching this video if you have any queries you can write mail to me see you with the next part bye bye